Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Almost said Saturday. I already have my cup of coffee. So, I am starting my macro challenge with Erica tomorrow, Monday. But I have begun trying to track my food today, just like get in the habit of it. So, um, I have a whole video on like how to do my fitness pal. I'll leave a link down below. It's quite old. Um, but I always just check the macros and this is my coffee so far because um, I add protein to it. The collagen protein, it like kicks me off already. I always find that I have no trouble hitting my fats. <laughs> um, that's just my proteins. I haven't gotten my numbers from her yet or I would just be starting to track today. Um, but yeah, I just made my meal plan and a grocery list. Um, if you've been following me for a while, I'm really bad at sticking to a meal plan, but it kind of just like gave me like an idea of what I might do for the week. Um, that is going to be in a separate video. I'm going to do like a grocery haul video. Um, today is going to be more like meal prep, what I eat day, just like a Sunday at home. Um, really quickly, I'm sorry if this is getting annoying in all of my videos, but um, there are two weeks left in the bonfire campaign if you want to help us with our next part of our IVF journey. Um, we need $5,000 to do the PGS testing. So I am trying to raise money for that because luckily everything else has covered. Um, since I got this insurance a year and a half ago, um, as you know, we did pay for a round out of pocket. and IVF is just so expensive. So um, now the doctor is telling us we need to do PGS testing. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, um, that's our next step um, because we've had so many losses. So I don't know when we're gonna start around. I was thinking at the end of January, but I'm not ready <laughs> emotionally, mentally. I'm not there yet. The thought of having to do all of that in just a few weeks was just like, whoa, not there yet. So uh, maybe the end of February, we'll see. Um, but that is our next step. So I'm trying to raise some money. I know a lot of you had asked me in the past if I would start like a GoFundMe. Um, I really don't feel comfortable just like asking for money. That's why I decided to do the bonfire shirts. I've got two different designs. One is like a coffee theme. One is a Simply Gina theme. There are a few people that have asked if they could just send money. So I do have my Venmo or PayPal listed below. Whatever you can do, if you can't help us, just following my channel and thinking of us and praying and all the support I need. Um, but I figured why not ask since so many of you have reached out to me to say if I would ever do something like that. So the go, not the GoFundMe, the bonfire campaign is there until January 18th. Um, they ship after the campaign is over. So definitely go check them out down below. All right, I'm done trying to sell that. <laughs> I'm sorry if it's gonna be annoying, but I kind of just have to like get it out there as much as I can until it's over. Um, but yeah, I am, I finished my coffee, it is nine o'clock. I just wanna sit and watch Sex in the City all day, but that's not a pr very productive Sunday. So I'm gonna get dressed, we're gonna go grocery shopping and get that over with. Um, my dad is coming over today to help us install, like we got cameras for outside for Christmas and Rob and I are both like bad at that kind of stuff. And my dad's really good. Um, poor Buster, we had to, we took him to the vet last night. We were so freaked out. He was doing like this, um, this weird breathing thing. And it was like 10 o'clock and we were both like, if <laughs> he doesn't make it through the night, we're both never gonna forgive ourselves. So we found like an emergency vet and we took him, but it turns out he was, he's fine. He was just reverse sneezing, whatever that means. Um, Oh, he's got a lot of these like little growths on him and they checked that out too and they said it's just like from age and he's a little overweight um but buster is getting older he's 10. all right i'm gonna stop rambling so this video is not 35 minutes long and gonna get my day started everyone i went grocery shopping that's all the way it is 11.30, Rob stopped and got uh, some Dunkin', so I'm having a coffee and I had a bagel. And then when I was about to like sit down and eat my bagel, Erica sent the macros, so I made it work. I'm gonna try to track it today. Where's my phone? Um, I don't know where my phone is right now, but my macros are gonna be 150 grams of carbs, 140 protein, which seems a little high, 
um, and 50 grams of fat. And she'd like me to only have 30 grams of sugar a day. Um, so that might be my biggest challenge and getting in that protein. Um, so I tracked everything so far today. And at 11.40, I've used 88 grams of carbs, 30 grams of fat, and 28 grams of protein. So, like I said, today is like a practice day. Um, obviously, it wasn't a well-balanced breakfast. <laughs> my breakfast will be more balanced from now on. Um, I got to plan out how I'm going to do my oaths. I'm going to go start a load of laundry. I'm going to clean up because it is a disaster in here. And um, yeah, do my regular Sunday things. See the giant mess, recycling that needs to go out, dishes that needs to be put away, Rob's coffee. Um, I need to sweep the floor is gross. I might steam the floor. I'm obsessed with that steam cleaner. I gotta put this back, but I need two hands. Oh my God, the day flies by. All right, so we are gonna fill up the diffuser. Let's get some sunlight in here. Rob always keeps the blinds closed because he hates when like there's a glare on the TV. We're not watching TV right now. We just want some sunshine. It is so empty in here without like Christmas stuff. But um, one day I'll get to decorating cute. Oh, this is already stuff in it. Great, I don't even have to fill it. I just have to turn it on. Honestly, I have no idea what's in it, so. Um, it smells a little lemony. You know, I probably have like lemon thieves purification in here as like a like an immune boosting blend. I need to clean that up. So yeah, we don't need this. I just filmed a video that should be up. I actually need to start editing it. I wanted it to be up today. It's like a sit down Sunday video. Um, what else do I want to do? I should have made a list. I was like feeling productive and now I'm not. My dad's coming over now, I think, to try to do the cameras. He's saying it's so windy. She's like, why are you stressing yourself out? If you don't want to do it today, it's really no big deal. Um, oh, I just love the smell of this. See the steam coming out? Mm. Hey, puppy! Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to clean out the fridge, do the dishes, and then start a little bit of meal prepping. All right, so I've got my, what is this? Kasori Instapot. Um, I know that some people use like the rack in here. I lost the rack or I probably throw it out. Um, I've never used the rack anyway to do eggs. I'm about to prep some eggs. Um, I just plop them in there. I've not had a problem. So let's see, I think I'm just gonna do six for now. Rob likes to eat these too, but we'll see. I'm just doing them as just to have. I have no plans for them yet. I have no plans for you guys. Don't get sad. Four, five, and six. This is the easiest way ever to make hard boiled eggs. Honestly, I forget about having this half the time and the eggs are probably one of the only things I do in here often. I did make recently a sausage soup in here that came out phenomenal. Um, I need to put that on my list again because Rob even liked it. And for some reason, he doesn't love everything that do is done in here, mostly because it is like, everything's like mixed together and he's not a mixed together kind of guy. All right, on. Is it locked? No. Yeah, this it is. Let's make sure this is locked. Um, let's see, we want to steam for six minutes. So that comes out, they come out perfect every single time. So now I'm gonna meal prep some turkey meatballs for a dinner one night. I figure I have the time today, I'm just gonna get them done. All I'm gonna add is one package of the ground turkey, one egg, a half a cup of coconut flour. I'm gonna add um, some garlic, some coconut amino, salt, pepper, garlic. So this would be a actual Whole30 approved turkey meatball. Um, and I'm gonna add them to some sauce for Rob. He can have it with his raviolis. I'll do whatever with it. Um, I just want to have some extra protein on hand. Um, so I'm going to get these all together and then I'm going to pop them in the air fry. Mad in here. Ah, I did it. Okay. 
can never have too much garlic. Number one rule in life. Paprika is always so hard to get out. Also, you can never have too much paprika. One of my favorite things. Can't do pepper one-handed, so let me add that. So now I'm just gonna mush them all together, put them into little bowls, and stick them in the air fryer. I put into the MyFitnessPal, um, it'll be four servings, so I'm not sure how many little meatballs that comes out to yet. I'll share the macros with you guys in a second. Well, it'll be a second for you, a few minutes for me. So it comes out to be like four meatballs per serving. So four meatballs is, where's my phone? Oh, right here, watching Gilmore Girls since I don't have friends anymore. Um, okay, sorry about that. Um, where is my fitness pal? Okay, so turkey meatballs comes out to be 9.3 carbs, 11.2 grams of fat, and 25 grams of protein. Not bad, guys. And these are the ingredients. Where's the ingredients? I don't know. You saw what I put in there, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to spray the air fryer a little bit of this and then I'm gonna pop them in there um, I need more counter space you know I'm not gonna use my hands because they're so dry from washing them all the time all right I'm just gonna put these in here and then I'm gonna put them in for 400 degrees for 15 minutes if you guys are interested in my air fryer it is always linked in my Amazon store <laughs> excuse my hiccups, which is always linked down below. All right, guys, we are switching gears. We're over, we're making um, protein overnight oats. Um, I'm going to add, I have one smushed banana already in here. I've got three egg whites. I need to buy like a carton of egg whites. Um, I'm gonna add some of this protein. It's hard to get protein in oats, guys. <laughs> so um, I wish I had just plain Greek yogurt, but I have this. Um, some of this protein, some chia seeds, and monk fruit, monk fruit sweetener. As you guys can see, I'm still trying to eat pretty clean. Um, I'm, it's just kind of like how I eat anyway, except for when I'm in the mood to eat all the donuts. Um, some cinnamon, and this time I just have regular oats. I didn't get steel cut oats by mistake. So to the mashed banana, we're going to add, let's see, 40 grams of oats. I have not used my scale in forever. Ounces, all right, we want it on grams. So we need 40 grams of oats, which is half a cup, if that's how you wanna do it. I just figure this is easier than using a bunch of different measuring cups. All right, 41, no big deal. Um, okay. Now I have this written down that it is for four servings. I feel like um, my battery's gonna die on my phone, my camera. Um, that might be a little, it might not be that much. Um, all right, I'm just gonna throw this all together so I could stick my camera on the charger. It's just gonna be half a cup of oats. I have um, two cup, two scoops of this collagen protein. I've got a cup of yogurt going in here. We've got two tablespoons of chia seeds and I think it's four scoops of this protein. So it'll be protein packed and then an added three egg whites. I would have added more egg whites if I had egg whites like by the jar. I'm not wasting like um, all those eggs, guys. It's kind of a waste. So I'm just gonna mix this all up. Here's my oats. Um, it tastes a little protein powdery. I just kind of like tasted it. I hope that there's enough oats in here that it soaks up. I'm gonna be really mad if this doesn't work because I wasted a lot of protein powders. Um, but um, I have high hopes because there are chia seeds in there too that absorb liquid. So now I will just like portion um, some out to bring to work every day. Well, this is enough for four servings. So one more. I, like I said, tomorrow I'll have like a think thin bar. I think I said that in my grocery haul. I don't know if I said that here um, because tomorrow I don't have time to eat breakfast at work uh, because I have to run out during my break and um, I can't sit down and eat my oats. I don't know if I said that or not. If I did, I'm sorry that I'm repeating myself. I've got my chicken tenders done. I didn't show you me making them because I have a video on this. Um, it's in my air fryer video. I will leave it linked down below. It is just a half a cup of coconut flour, half a cup of almond flour. I season the crap out of that. I have like paprika, cayenne, salt, garlic, pepper, um, 
Is there anything else? I don't think so. Um, and then I just dip it in a, an egg beat up and into here and then I'm gonna have it, pop it in the air fryer. In the air fryer right now I have um, my cauliflower gnocchi. Oh, I forgot to spray it, but whatever. Um, air frying it is my favorite way to make it. Big pile of veggies. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna track veggies because I usually mix a bunch. I don't just have one. There's Brussels sprouts under here, zucchini, and broccoli. I'm going to cook it in a little bit of ghee. Um, maybe I'll just like create it like a recipe. I'm gonna have to like guess how much I have here, whatever. Um, and then I'm going to put these in the microwave and I'm gonna make like my crispy um, smashed potatoes. So I just gotta cook them a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna have to put the second batch of chicken in soon. Um, yeah, I want this to finish cooking for two minutes. <sighs> Got so much accomplished today, guys. I'm so proud of myself. I can't believe it's already six o'clock though. There really needs to be an extra day in the weekend for show. All right guys, so here's dinner. I already have my lunch all packed up, tracked. I have breakfast and lunch already tracked for tomorrow. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> Let's see how I do the next six weeks. Um, I'll do fine, I know I will. Um, I've got the potatoes done. I've got a plate up, Rob's, he's just outside. I don't think you could see him. We've got, um, he's doing his little fire he loves. Oh my God, I love this chicken. You guys have to try it. Then I have to clean up this huge mouse. My coffee set and ready to brew for tomorrow. Dishes are all clean. I just need to wipe down the counters. And I am gonna end today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching a little bit of my meal prep. It was kind of a boring day. Um, I kind of got back into the, the habit of tracking my food tomorrow full blown. Um, tracking your macros is kind of like a puzzle, like trying to figure them out. But I'm gonna try to like keep it equal, like equal protein, like take my macros and then like divide them by like four, like breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. Um, so that I'm not like overwhelmed with like protein. Protein is my hardest one to get in. Fat is easy, carbs are easy. It's the protein, I need to get a better, that protein powder is very clean. Um, it's just, it's not high in protein. The problem with like clean products, besides like the collagen, like the protein isn't as high. Um, our ring lights have been fully installed, our ring cameras, and every time Rob walks past one, it like blinks. Did you have a nice time by your fire? I did. Do you like seeing yourself? What is that? <laughs> I was taking a video. Video of what? <laughs> Just a video of my day.